All right, okay, I'm doing a very surprise, last minute, quick reaction video right now. Um, we've had some news in Edinburgh, which is a bit unusual. We don't get things like this happening very often. Um, news has spread today that this morning, a Banksy has appeared on a wall in the city centre. So I literally jumped in the car with my phone. I'm just filming with my phone. Um, and I'm heading out into the city centre right now to check this out because if it is a Banksy that's appeared in Edinburgh it's a first for the city it's something a wee bit exciting and cool and there's also a bit of a story behind it that I need to talk about it's just around the corner here right in front of the castle terrace actually in the city centre um, as soon as I can get somewhere to park I'm going to get out the car it's absolutely freezing minus two right now um, but if it is the real deal if this is a Banksy it's not going to be there for long it might get graffitied over, it's gonna be the center of a lot of attention, but the rumors are that it is a Banksy. So let's get out there and see what we can see. It's a cold night in Edinburgh. I'll tell you that for nothing. I'm not allowed to use the C word anymore. The C word is banned on YouTube as of the last couple of days. So instead of the C word, I'm gonna use the word theory. So there's a theory, right? That Banksy is connected to a band called Massive Attack and coincidentally or not on Monday night Massive Attack actually played here in Scotland in Glasgow and then the very next morning the first sightings of this piece of art were seen I mean that's just too coincidental and um, considering the theories surrounding Massive Attack and who Banksy really is I'll talk about that theory later on but first of all I just need to find actually find this Banksy it's around here somewhere. All right, I can see the archway that we need to find actually already. And I can even see the white wall where it's painted on, according to news reports just down here. Grindley Square. This is a place. Could have parked right outside it. This is a brand new thing for Edinburgh, but it's very exciting. And if it is real, I mean, that is just amazing for Edinburgh. I dare say it won't last there long, unfortunately, but it's still cool that this is here. I'm excited. Fingers crossed we'll find out more information in the next couple of days at who did this, um, if it was Banksy. Yeah, pretty cool news here in Edinburgh, like things don't often happen this exciting here. So big story of the day, I had to come out with the camera immediately, otherwise I will look like a total idiot. I'm quite prepared for that, it's fine. If it's not, it's not. The thing is this area and all the walls around here in the old town of Edinburgh are actually full of quite a lot of graffiti as it is. There's some on the wall here behind me. There's a smiley face. And then there's another piece over here. Kind of struggling to make out what that is exactly though. Kind of looks like a... Oh. I get it. Oh wow, thank goodness I'm back inside. Let me tell you, it's freezing outside. Okay. I could be the victim of a massive prank along with everybody else in Edinburgh right now. I don't know at this point, it's too new. This thing just appeared today. So this is literally like a reaction as things happen. If it does turn out to be a prank, so be it. But on the off chance that it was real and I was one of the first people to go out there and photograph and video this thing, then it's quite a big deal. Anyway guys, listen, welcome to my channel everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. If you're new, subscribe. It will be great to have you on board. And listen, I wanna explain, if you don't know who Banksy is, he is a graffiti artist that has been active mostly in the UK and is worldwide famous now um, but also he's famous for the fact that nobody knows his identity and that has been the great cause of speculation over the last few years. His work sells for millions and millions of dollars and he's also somebody who plays massive pranks. Like for instance at an auction recently when one of his artworks self-destructed in a shredder built into the frame and while nobody knows who Banksy is, some people do have suspicions and as I say the band Massive Attack 
is one of the key principal suspicions that people have, and with particular regard, the band's frontman, Robert Danaha. One of the main coincidences about Banksy and Massive Attack the Band is that Banksy artworks tend to appear around the world, coinciding with Massive Attack tours. So wherever they have appeared in the world and are playing, Banksy works appear. And that is why a lot of people think that someday in Massive Attack is responsible. And it does make sense. It would either be someday in Massive Attack or somebody very, very close to them, maybe someday in the crew. But in many other senses, there are a lot of signs it could actually be Robert himself in the band. And here are a couple of theories as to why. Both Robert and Banksy grew up in Bristol. And they are both artists. And in fact, if you look at Robert's artworks that appear on a lot of the band's cover art, for example, it's very similar, it's strikingly similar in style to Banksy's pieces. Robert is actually really well known as an artist in his own right, aside from being a musician as well. They have the same friends and they definitely roll in the same circles if they are two people. So that's one thing we know for sure. If it's not Robert himself, it's definitely someone in his very close circle. And one of the key reasons this rumor, this theory started off is when DJ Goldie, a popular DJ who is a friend of Banksy, was doing an interview, he accidentally referred to Banksy as Robert. That definitely got the ball rolling on that theory and that is why it's spread into this thing. But there is a definite connection with Massive Attack tour dates and these Banksy artworks appearing. So anyway, this new piece of art that has appeared today in Edinburgh, it is very, very similar to Girl With Balloon, which is one of Banksy's really most famous artworks that a lot of people know him for. These are stencil works which appear on walls in cities, right? They are awesome, they were groundbreaking, but also, to be absolutely honest with you, some of these good at art could quite easily replicate these types of works and these ideas. It would be awesome if this is actually a Banksy piece, but we don't actually know for sure. It could be a prank. It could be somebody who noticed that Massive Attack were playing in Glasgow and thought, here's a good chance to prank everyone and do this piece of art in Edinburgh to make everybody think about this whole rumor about the Massive Attack guy being Banksy. So there you go. I don't really do two videos in one day, but I felt like this news was too important for Edinburgh. I had to go out and see for myself. So Banksy, if you're watching, I'm a fan. I would like to know if this is real or not. I hope it is, it would be cool. And if it is Banksy, the suspicions about Massive Attack just grow much stronger. What do you guys think? Thank you very much for watching guys. I appreciate you being here, but I've got a lot more planned for you, right? So. Until the next adventure, I hope you have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care. I'm trying to recreate the photo next to the photo. That'll look horrible. It looks stupid. <laughs>